60 seconds. So, um, It's all too easy to lose awareness of the present moment as we juggle work, home, finances, and other demands. Instead of noticing the good things in life, or listening to what our mind and body is telling us, we focus mostly on the negative aspects of ourselves and others, with detrimental consequences to our lives. Mindfulness is proven to reduce stress, anxiety, and create a state of well-being. In fact, simple mindfulness techniques transforms our lives by helping us to cope better with life's pressures, become less judgmental, feel balanced and calm, lower our stress levels. While this mindfulness does not stop life's pressures, it guarantees we will respond in a calmer manner, stop those embarrassing major reactions, gain clarity, insight, and understanding about how easily we can manage our lives and allows us to be fully present in our lives once again. So it's time to make the change we want to see in the world. That's the reason why we need uh, mindfulness in our life. So my friends, we start with the self-regulations, the next part. Okay, thank you very much. You do very good job and everything you provide is very clear. Thank you. Okay, uh, have you ever felt out of control in your life? Like you cannot, that is it like have impossible rock rise your heart. Like you cannot move, you cannot move forward and uh, you make you feel like you're so stressful as how state. Uh, disappointed and even feels as like to be the trouble. And um, you cannot no, no more have motivation to keep going. And these negative energy keep flowing you day by day and let you down. But sometimes it's okay to let emotion control us, especially when it turns to positive. So let me take a sample. Uh, positive emotion can like how happiness you are when you had an exam or you can achieve a target for the month and uh, uh, achieve a target for the month and um, your so emotional intelligence suggests that you have to it's really important to be aware of your emotion because when you aware your emotion you can choose how to react and express your emotion um, so because self-regulation is about using self-aware to keep negative reaction under control. And um, so what does this mean about the self-regulation? There are too many definitions about self-regulation. You can just go ahead and receive million uh, different, uh, diff uh, different results. But for me, uh, self-regulation is defined really simple. Uh, self-regulation is about ability to act in your own long-term best interest. To calm yourself when you are upset and to cheer yourself up when you are sad. There are two elements about self-regulation. First of all, about Behavioral self regulation. Behavioral self regulation is about your ability to act in your long term best interest, consistent with your deepest value. Let me take for example. Have you ever been lazy to wake up every morning, to take a bus, go to school? But when you think about your target, your goal, your future, or even how much money you pay for this semester, so you just wake up, go to school immediately, right? So you display effective uh, self-regulation. And the same one is about emotional self-regulation. Emotional self-regulation is about involved control of or at least influence over your emotion. Let me take for example. Um, have you ever talked yourself out of a bad mood or came yourself down? Uh, when, when you were angry, 
Just like when you and your boyfriend or girlfriend are fighting and no matter how angry you are, no matter how many times you just want to go and see Faye immediately, but you still came down and you guys feel, feel way too so together, right? So, so it's, it's, so it's all about, it's not your problem, it's not your problem anymore. It's your attitude about the problem. So please, have no doubt before they handle you. So it's easy to see that how lack of self-regulation will cause problems in your life. Example, uh, a child who hit or yell to another kid will not be popular in the school anymore. And uh, they make promise at school. A teenager who with poor self-regulation will lack of self-confidence, self-esteem, we face uh, trouble in kind of stressful, and uh, we will we will like of my mental relationship, right? And um, so you can see, self regulation plays an important role in our life. And uh, for me, the benefit of self regulation so numerous, but for me, in general. Savvy people who have self regulation tend to see the good in order, sympathize, uh, view challenges as opportunity, and um, maintain open communication. And we are students, we are the same. You will notice that uh, the student with low regulate uh, in uh, their talk, emotion, behavior, we face difficulty to make friends or, make, or keep friends. Our organized school and uh, even how they cannot control the emotion anymore. Learning how to regulate uh, means that we will develop stronger relationships, be able to attention, uh, learn new things, and better manage in normal shape in this moment in our life. And that's why we, I will discuss about the power of delayed gratification. It's really interesting. And um, uh, the power of delayed gratification. Yes, it's about a person's ability to delay gratification related to other similar kids. A skill such as patent, impulse control, self control, will power, and all of them are involved in self regulation. Um, a Stanford professor, uh, Walter Mitchell, this experience for young children to demonstrate a significant form of controlling impulse in our life. Um, in the experience that in 19 city, he and his researcher took a group of number of four years old children into the room, let them sit down in front of a marshmallow, and he said that, I would like to live for 50 minutes. If you want to eat the marshmallow, just eat it. But if you can wait for me until I come back, I will, I will give you the second one and we will eat the So. Uh, can you guess the behavior of the, the kid, whether they can, they can eat the marshmallow or not? So let's, we can uh, watch the video to more detail about this spirit. I'm gonna go do 
something and then I'll come back.
Even so many fists send the ruby gloves if you are lazy, no more, don't have any motivation to go to the gym. So please learn how to delight gratification to get a better life. And um, the next one, I will talk to you about negative capability. So what does it mean about negative capability? So whenever you you see that word negative, you will think that, that uh, bad meaning, right? But negative capability of a chon kick will bring us to another perspective. John Kiss who found the face negative capability for a romantic poet. Full of intense kid, long to find beauty in what was often an ugly and terrible world, in he was so admired Shakespeare. And in a letter to his brother, um, his brother Kit is right Shakespeare as a negative capability. He said that negative capability does it a man of cap capio capable of being a tasty, mysterious, dumb, without any irritable reaching after fact and reason. Which means that that capability of the writer, writer to pursue a vision of an artist's beauty, even when it leads them to intellectual confusion and not sentimentality. So, as you can see, keep concepts simplicity and full of potential by leaving out rest Less net and avoiding to erase reaching after fact and reason. So you can see negative capability in your writing. But sometimes you will create a word that not exist. But your reader, your reader, your audiences can catch that experience and understandably what you are saying. If you find yourself in that position, you will find, you will feel that it's too difficult to explain about the, the law of the nature is it in that word. Uh, let me take a sample to make you feel um, more clearly, uh, understand clearly about it, the concept. Like, do you know Harry Potter? Um, think of the Harry Potter in Universal. Most of us will, will think that magic does not exist in this real world. But J.K. Rowling, the author of the Harry Potter, creating a world full of which wizard, god, uh, and uh, she still fully expect uh, her reader, uh, her reader can keep following her. And but the point is, but the point is, we cannot explain where the magic, where the wizard, wizard, which it come from. So we. No one can explain why the Harry Potter universe can uh, can uh, appear. And so, how about you? Have you ever applied negative capability in your writing? For me, if you want to using negative capability in your writing, just write a short piece. Use so many, uh, use many mysterious, strange, uh, magic, magical things as not as possible and don't explain anything. Let your reader exist in that world. And now my friend will continue with my presentation. Thank you. Um, you answered you very good job. I like it. Yeah, very well repaired. Good understanding. And you see that uh, all of you up to now, I think your group, all the talents fall into your group. Why is it? Okay, you all have very good, um, let's say, attractive uh, presenting skill, English, understanding, very good. Thank you. Next. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, the next part is uh, motivation. Uh, motivations is the reasons for people's actions, willingness, and goals. Uh, in other words, uh, motivations in this part as a need that requires satisfaction. Um, in some cases, uh, motivation is the most important reason that inspires a person to move forward. Uh, for example, when you are impressed by the failure or you are 
said you want to quit the job. Uh, in that case, what motivation is the uh, best courage to uh, overcome this pressure? Um, motivation is divided into two types. The first one is interested motivation. Interested motivation is come from within the individual. Is uh, you are doing the to the job because of the personal rewarding, not by the inner effect to affect you, uh, not for external reward. Uh, the next is uh, extrinsic motivation. Extrinsic motivation is the behavior is driven by external reward, such as money, fame, credit, or praise, or sometimes uh, is to avoid a punishment. Uh, Individual is the difference between extrinsic and intrinsic motivation. Uh, on the left side, the one who wearing the blue shirt, he uh, playing in the football. Uh, he is the sample for intrinsic motivations because uh, he plays football because he wants to win this game. He wants to get a reward. On the left side, different from the, the first one, uh, the one who wearing the white shirt. Uh, playing football because he, uh, he is interested in and he, uh, he, he will try to play playing. Uh, uh, these the elements to uh, separate interest and interest goals. Uh, for the interest goals, uh, it refers to self worth, knowledge, growth, passion, dedication, for our purpose. Uh, Move to extrinsic goals. Uh, we have deadline, social status, money, price, winning, fairness, or purse. Um, there are two theories that uh, contain the motivation. The first one is Maslow hierarchy of needs. Uh, in this theory, Maslow uh, claims that uh, people are motivated by uh, unsatisfied needs and there are two types of needs. The first one is basic needs and the second is social needs. The basic needs is uh, combined with the uh, safety needs and physiological needs. Um, the second theory is about Hertzberg to factor theory. Uh, according to uh, Hertzberg to factor theory, uh, he includes us Mm, there are two types two type of factors that uh, can affect your motivation. Uh, the first is motivator. It means uh, something that uh, causes satisfaction. Uh, that is satisfied factor. This including achievement, recognition, responsibility. Uh, when you uh, complete on this task, uh, it can uh, increase your it can uh, get a positive satisfaction. About the hygiene factor, Hygiene factor in about the effect that uh, when you uh, accomplish uh, perfectly all the tasks in the hygiene factor, you can uh, not cause the uh, you you can stop the 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 motivation, but it's not mean that you increase the satisfaction. Uh, the next part is balance may indicator of motivation. A uh, value-based indicator of motivation is based on a fresh model of values assessed in the new way. Uh, they have uh, five beneficial elements, and they are from questions about four, four, four areas and 24 scales. Uh, the question is about uh, what I want for myself, rewards, fame, well-being, excitement, change, conceptual, the second is what I want to become. Personal crowd, career, influence, legacy, wisdom, transcendence. The third is uh, what I want from the others. Social contact, integrity, connection, organism. And the last thing, what I want from society. Uh, the difference of the, the, the difference of uh, BBIM is BBIM have a friend's analysis and innovative reporting is a path to, to uh, recruitment. Uh, it can uh, apply advantage uh, and it's a uh, suit to everyone besides the and 
visit training requirements. This means that uh, that can develop your skill or develop your group skill. This table is uh, about choosing client to suit to the job. Uh, the table of video animation model. So I think all of you have done this test uh, online already, and you have you all have the results for your for yourself, right? And uh, if if you can apply the results into your teamwork now, it is very interesting and very fruitful. Now, try to analyze each uh, person's values and motivations so that okay, we can assign the right, the right job for the right members. Now, so by doing that, we, we support each other and we lead to the highest performance of the team as a whole. And if you can do that, I do believe at the end, you will really have to give you big applause. It means uh, agree to give you a high score, let's say 80 ups, and all of you get distinction. Okay, okay, go on. You, you don't need to go detail into this. Okay, just show your friend, that's enough. Uh, yes, Barbara, can I continue? Thank you, man. Thank you. Good job. Very well, very well prepared. Very well. Hi guys, I know you guys are a little bit tired now, so I go uh, go to two small but uh, first first of all is about empathy. Empathy uh, basically is the capacity to understand the personal the other personal uh, emotion on feeling. Uh, it means that uh, you will understand the emotional perspective of the other people. And if you build that empathy, you will gain some social skill. Uh, I have some, I have, uh, some uh, social skills that you gain to uh, the emotional intelligence, like uh, communication. Uh, you will be uh, good at uh, communication and influence uh, the other person. And moreover, that you will uh, good at influence in the small group. And moreover, is about the society. And next is about the leadership. And uh, you will work uh, building a relationship. And moreover, that you can cooperation and co and collaboration with the other people. Um, the, co the communication skill that you gain from the emotional intelligence that you uh, you can listen uh, and openly to the other person and then uh, when you understand them uh, deeply you can influence them and cooperate with them Uh, moreover, that you can uh, uh, become a good leadership in the future, like uh, you you will create a group that uh, all the uh, member will um, have the same um, have the same um, idea with you. You uh, reduce all the conflict of the uh, group, then you will uh, be become a good leadership. And uh, this is all about the group, our group presentation. Uh, to sum up, if, uh, as my friend talked about, uh, if you go at the EIQ, each other help you to survive in the school life, but uh, moreover that you are good at the emotional intelligence, you will know yourself first, and then you can uh, know the uh, know about the uh, other version influence, influence them and moreover that you can uh, uh, create the group and uh, there, there will be a good team uh, and then moreover that you can uh, um, influence to the good society and the country.
this is all of uh, my Brooks presentation. If you have uh, any questions, please please the up. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Dupai, for your well reparations and your understanding about uh, the topic. So I'm so impressed. So I have to, to tell you to be honest. Today I take you as an example and uh, I do the record part of uh, the section today. And uh, my purpose is to motivate my students. And I'm going to tell them, okay, how his older brother and sister do things at his university class and how wonderful uh, their English is and yeah, they are doing like a real teacher. Yeah? So I'm proud of you all. Uh, I'm going to share with you in detail after the seminar of uh, our session today, after the break. Uh, in general, the emotional intelligence, we talk about confidence, we talk about um, uh, dimensions, but in general, when we talk about emotional, we, there are five, five big dimensions that build up our emotional intelligence as a whole. Yeah? So self-awareness is one important uh, dimension. The other one is self-management, self-regulation, self-awareness, and re relationship uh, management. Yeah? And uh, one, two, three, four, five. Here are those five dimensions that make up, that build up our emotional intelligence. Of course, uh, one cannot have all of these high, but we will apply, we will try our best to improve all of these things. The more, the higher, the better. Now, the higher the better, so we go get into this, and now I focus on this one. So this one, the motivation also is kind of important things to help us to manage our change as well as change the other. So then you have the whole chapters about uh, motivation and also a lot more chapters about how to apply motivation theory into the, the workplace. Now, so there are two chapters from the LP course. Please come back and, and look at the chapters for detailed information. So your friends provide this. Okay, Maslow, um, uh, Maslow, uh, husband, the two factor, uh, the two factor theory. Uh, hard gold, uh, hard gold theory as well. So go into that so that you can motivate people. But here we talk the the, the material mentions about uh, values. So we have because value is the root of everything. If we have if we look at things as small value, it means we have low motivation to do things. And if we see things as big value, no. Uh, we struggle, we fight, we sacrifice our life to achieve the value. No? So also from the LP course, we have one, one very important research we call rockets. Yeah? Rocket research about value. We have two kinds of value. Intrinsic value, rocket, uh, rocket we say as terminal value, and extrinsic value. For rocket research, he called it as instrumental research, uh, instrumental value. Huh? So then we can use the values, both intrinsic as well as extrinsic value, to lead people. And I said, yes, you okay? You should focus more in the intrinsic value because we use something, the value itself, to lead people, to motivate people to do things, rather than. Extrinsic. Extrinsic only, uh, let's say, uh, something like the means, the tools, to help us to achieve the terminal value. So it is a waste of time and a waste of our life if we put the extrinsic value as the most important thing in our value system. And believe me, before you die, 
if you only have the tunes, the tune here is big house, nice car, okay, huge amount of money in the bank, this is on the tune. And looking to the the token of value in, 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 uh, intrinsic, you still don't achieve it yet. So then you cannot, you know, uh, close your eyes to, to go. So then you should give this to motivate people. And of course at the workplace, sometimes you can start with the extrinsic first because to motivate people, you have to do something more concrete. For example, come and work with me. You will have high salary, you will have kind of promotion, right? No, that's it. That's it, extrinsic. But when you come already, then okay, the leader will give more of intrinsic to lead people. This is long term, long term. So, how to motivate people? Well, you need to ask them to do this test. And if you know what to know yourself, what motive, what inside that motivate you from inside, then you also have to do this test. This test helps you to recognize what really inside here motivates you. Something that you cannot see and you even don't know. And from other people you, can, you cannot see and or, or, or cannot know as well. So only when you, you look at the result of this test, you can recognize what motivates each of our people around us. So do this. Do this at home, and I, I do believe you do it. I also already do. I already did this test, and I have the result for myself. So if we plan our career path for the future, then we we should put this thing into consideration. So all the time we have high motivation to do things. Now, so after the break. We have three. We have three more. Three chapters. Uh, three papers that support all of this. And because today I give you the mind map, it's all the knowledge, the frame knowledge about the the, the um, emotional intelligence. So the here to motivate yourself, we have one paper talking about about uh, giving and receiving feedback. We're talking about this one, and then we have, uh, let's say, a SIP process. I think we'll sit down and to talk about the SIP process to improve our emotional intelligence. Okay, this is new thing. Group, uh, group, uh, group five away me today. Uh, we have also here put IQ in actions through knowing ourselves, giving uh, our ourselves, and choosing ourselves, giving ourselves here. Also very well related to motivate the self here, giving and receiving feedback. And uh, one more job, one more thing, we talk about uh, uh, the ideal self. The ideal self to help us to understand. Okay, in order to to improve all of these things, we should have our ideal self. Ideal self will moderate all of the relationship here. So after the break, I will make things clear uh, after we have three more uh, presentations about the three more material, and then we make clear of this. Now, any questions? Are you all clear? Okay, so let's have a break.